Hello students. Today I will discuss on the topic classification of dryers and fluidized bed dryer. To begin with, let's recall the definition of drying and its application or purposes or why drying is necessary. So at first definition of drying. Drying is defined as the removal of liquid from solid by thermal product by thermal method. When large amount of liquid is evaporated from solution, suspension, slurry, the process is called as evaporation. Final product is a concentrated liquid or slurry. But when very small amount of liquid is evaporated from the solids, the process is called drying. The final product is a dried solid. That means when we will, after evaporation of liquid, when we will get the product as a dried solid, then the process is known as drying. And when we will get concentrated liquid as a product, then it is called as evaporation. This is the basic difference between drying and evaporation. Now, the purposes of drying in pharmaceutical industries or why drying is necessary in pharmaceutical industries. So, drying is the most commonly used in used method in pharmaceutical industries in the preparation of granules which can be packed in bulk or compressed into tablets or filled in the capsules. Next point is drying is required for processing of materials like drying of aluminum hydroxide, spray drying of lactose and preparation of powdered extracts. Next it is used to reduce the to reduce the bulk weight that lowers the transportation and storage cost of materials. Drugs obtained from plants and animal sources when dried becomes more friable becomes more friable thus drying helps in size reduction of natural drugs now, animal, next point animal and vegetable drugs are preserved against mold growth in dried condition dried products often are less more stable than moist ones as in the case of effervescent salts aspirin hygroscopic powders ascorbic acid and penicillin now today's topic of discussion was classification of dryers based on the heat transfer mechanism so basing on heat transfer mechanism it is classified into three categories convection dryers fluidized bed dryers oh sorry conduction dryers radiant heat dryers convection dryers examples are tray or self dryers tunnel dryer rotary dryers and fluidized bed dryers in case of conduction dryers examples are vacuum oven and freeze dryers and in case of radiant heat dryers infrared dryers so in the coming slides we will discuss about fluidized bed dryer the heat transfer mechanism in this dryer is convection is convection so at first we will see the principle of fluidized bed dryer on what principle it works so let us consider a situation where a bed of granules is placed over a perforated bottom container and hot air is shown from the bottom through the bed the pressure the pressure drop delta p or that is log delta p across the bed and the air velocity v are measured if the velocity is gradually increased we will get a curve when we plot a curve between log delta v versus log delta p and the velocity is gradually increased then we will obtain a curve like this in this curve we are seeing five points a b c d and e point a it indicates that when the air velocity is very low flow takes place between the particles without causing any disturbance at point b 
when the velocity is increased to certain value the flex the frictional drag on the particles become equal to the force of gravity of the particles but at point c at point c rearrangement of particles occurs to offer least resistance at point d eventually eventually the particles are suspended in the air and can move and can move freely so delta p decreases slightly because of greater porosity further increase in the air velocity causes the particles to separate causes the particles to separate and move freely and the bed is fully fluidized any additional increase in velocity separates the particle further that is the bed expands without appreciable change in delta p up to the point e in the de region the air flows through the bed in the form of bubbles so the term boiling bed is generally used for this stage above point e the solid particles enter into the gaseous phase and the particle floats in the gas now construction of a fluidized bed dryer fluidized bed dryer are of two types vertical fluidized bed dryer vertical fluidized bed dryer for batch process and horizontal fluidized bed dryer for continuous process there are different parts five different parts of a fluidized bed dryer first one is air handler air handler this is a source of dry and hot air hot air it is also attached by means of heating and dehumidifying air if necessary heating means air heaters are attached to this apparatus this air inlet air heaters air outlet this all three consists of air handler next part is plenum it consists of a screen or plate to distribute the incoming air as it enters the dryer so this portion is called as plenum product container the container holds the product the container holds the product that is to be dried so this is product container in this this container is having perforated bottom through which this hot air can pass into the products now next part is expansion chamber this chamber is situated just above the product container and holds the suspended material last part is filter bags or filter the upper part of the expansion chamber the upper part of the expansion chamber has bag filters it prevents fines from escaping into the atmosphere or collecting on the blades that pulls the air through the dryer it is on the top a fan is also fixed which uh, removes the moist air from the dryer applications of fluidized bed dryer mainly there are two uh, in wet granulation method fluidized bed dryers are used to dry the previously prepared wet granules powders are agglomerated in the drying chamber by spraying liquid binder over it so while hot air dries the agglomerates to form dry granules the next point application is coating of tablets the fluidized bed dryer can be used for coating of granules also and this technique is called as rustered technique three designs are employed top spray bottom spray and tangential spray in fluidized condition the powder is coated by coating solution sprayed from the nozzles as the particles are coated they become heavier when the mass developed becomes heavier then the drag force given by the fixed air velocity the particles no longer floats advantages of fluidized bed dryer efficient heat and mass transfer facilitates high drying rates heating time of thermal evaluable material is minimized individual particles of the bed get dried in the fluidized state 
in the fluidized state so most of the drying will be at constant rate and falling rate period is very short temperature can be controlled uniformly free flowing product is obtained since the bed is not static free movement of individual particle eliminates the risk of soluble materials migrating short time yields a high output from a small floor space and similarly disadvantage is turbulence of fluidized state may produce fine particles due to attrition fine particles lead to segregation so they may collect the collected by the back filters static charges may be produced due to vigorous movement of particles in the hot dry air this is all about drying classification of dryers and fluidized bed dryer thank you